Welcome back. So DeFi is uh, just about getting started and um, there's so many open research challenges there. So if you like research and you like finance and you like computer science, this is really your prime time, right? Uh, doing your PhD or any kind of research in that area and publishing high quality peer reviewed scientific articles uh, will give you such a fun time. Um, with so much data out there and so many challenges that are interdisciplinary, um, it's it's really a super exciting um, time to, to to be alive, kind of, and to 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 venture into this. So let me just give you a, a little glimpse of some of the challenges that uh, that we are looking at. So scalability is certainly one of the uh, critical cornerstones of uh, blockchains and DeFi as a whole. Um, however, when people mention scalability, they're not being very precise in what they specifically want to scale. So what can be scaled is, for example, the number of transactions, right? The number of transactions uh, per second that a system should support. And this is most of the times, I guess, some of the, the, the scalability concerns that people uh, discuss. So in Bitcoin, supports on the order of 7 to 10 transactions per second, but they are faster. Permissionless blockchains out there that uh, support orders of magnitudes more transactions. Um, and uh, ultimately, we want to scale uh, much more, obviously. But there's also the, the, um, the uh, question of how much US dollar or how much financial value we want to transmit in each transaction. And I think in those aspects, like Bitcoin, for instance, or Ethereum are scaling really well. I mean, you can, you can make a $4 billion transaction and it will not cost more transaction fees than a $1 transaction. So if you, if you think of scalability, always um, ask yourself, what do you want to scale, right? Um, you can also scale, for example, the number of nodes, um, and in this in these aspects, blockchain uh, permissionless blockchains also do scale fairly well. They do support thousands of nodes. That's not an issue. Um, but uh, certainly the, the transactions per second here, this is I guess the the biggest uh, uh, issue uh, in terms of scalability. Um, usability is such a big concern. Like the user interfaces and the like, holding your own custody, your own coins is really not simple. It's really difficult. Um, privacy, as we've seen earlier, is a is a real challenge. And security, God, don't get me started. I mean, there's so many issues on on security side, and so many attacks that can happen. Um, it's certainly there's so much uh, job security for security researchers because there's so many security issues. Um, and not to speak, I haven't even started speaking about the legal framework because that's not necessarily my domain. Um, but uh, DeFi is mostly unregulated in nowadays uh, economy. So if you have a, um, an affiliation to a law degree or, or some kind of law affinity, uh, it's your time to shine. Uh, try to shape uh, the future, right? Try to try to show how DeFi can be regulated safely and, and productively for everyone. Um, so it's just super exciting. And um, if you look at um, uh, research per se, you can't really like ignore, uh, if you're a computer scientist, you can't really ignore what's happening on the finance or on the economy side. If you do, you will actually not be able to fully capture the, the, the reality. And if your research is not capturing reality, then what is it good for, right? You want to capture reality and go beyond what's currently possible. Um, so we, we have to have models that are as faithful as possible to reality. <clears throat> so for each financial function, we might ask, okay, how, so how can we investigate the CFI and the DeFi options? Is either one of them optimal? Uh, optimality is, is really a key component here. Uh, so you need to, if you, if you want to create more optimal DeFi protocols, the math background is often very, very helpful. Um, so we, for example, will evaluate both through the lens of uh, computer science and finance. Is the application computable? So can we be efficient? Is it decidable? Uh, can it be automated? Uh, is the application welfare enhancing and stable? So is there uh, less of a source? Is, is, there is, there, is there less of risk for systemic risks? Uh, how do the new and old systems interact? So how is it backward compatible? How do they intertwine, etc.? 
So it's really interesting to see these intersections of uh, finance and computer science. Um, so I'm myself, I'm learning still a lot. I, I have a computer science background, not so much on the finance side. Um, and it's really helping, uh, DeFi is really helping me to catch on onto all these finance terms and and, and ideas. And also the, the DeFi MOOC with uh, Christine Paolo, um, uh, in the fall 2021 was so uh, was so helpful on really grasping a lot of the concepts in traditional finance as well. So new questions and challenges in regulations and the legal frameworks obviously arise and these are um, big uh, big problems um, that that wait to be that, that are waiting to be solved by you by by the young generation of of uh, of innovative um, thought leaders here. So I have given you already a few references and recommended readings in the course guide um, just for you also to, to look into so-called uh, systemizations here of knowledge. If you're keen to uh, understand on a high level how CFI is different from DeFi, I guess these are fairly good to, to um, understand the high-level concepts um, of, of DeFi and how this relates to CFI. And um, ending this lecture, I would like to uh, give you here this this little meme that, well, I mean, it's maybe the beginning of the end, but it's also maybe the beginning of a new era where CFI and DeFi can um, can work together, uh, be, be productive, um, innovate on each on all fronts, and I mean, everybody knows if there's competition about, then uh, this is typically best for the consumer in the long run, anyways. So we hope that. Um, we, 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 can, we can merge some of the innovative aspects from DeFi back into CeFi and vice versa.